everyone, it's Vaki here, and what is up guys, today I'm back with another LEGO video. This is on three custom Harry Potter minifigures that I thought were lacking from the sets, so I decided to make my own custom versions of them. I'm sure we'll probably get most of these minifigures in future waves of the Harry Potter line, but here we have Gilderoy Lockhart, Harry Potter's Godfather, Sirius Black, and Ginny Weasley. So let's take a quick look at each of these minifigures. And first up here we have my favorite out of the three. This is Gilderoy Lockhart and this minifigure I think just turned out great looking. I think he's very accurate with the tan suit on right there and the tan cloak from the Luke minifigure. And the torso that I'm using is actually from uh, Neville Longbottom from the minifigure series as well as the face is uh, from Newt Commander from the minifigure series and I just thought that face looked perfect for Gilderoy Lockhart, but then he just has this basic hair you can get from that, uh, my favorite favorite minifigure from different licensed themes, which is the Chris Pratt minifigure or the Owen Grady or Star Lord, and that is just a great hairpiece, fits him perfectly. And then he has uh, this nougat color wand, and then just tan legs, and this is a pretty pretty basic custom to make, and hopefully you guys have some of the parts to this too, and can make this fantastic character, because he's just such a good character in the books and the movie, and yet, yeah, there is Gilderoy Lockhart, let's take a look at the next minifigure. And next up here is Harry Potter's Godfather, Sirius Black, this was another fun one to make, that uh, probably will almost for sure get in a set here in the next week of Harry Potter sets. And this is using a variety of different pieces. I'm using uh, actually the face and hair piece from an old Pirates of the Caribbean set, uh, the water wheel set, or old mill I believe is what it's called. But then the actual torso and the lathe print right there are from actually Grindelwald from a, a pretty cheap Harry Potter or Fantastic Beast set. So I think that actually fit, uh, like fits his suit very well because he uses some black on his suit. And he also has a suit that has some, like, olive green on it right there. So that just works perfectly and then he just has a dark brown wand. So let's move on to the last main figure. And right here is Ginny Weasley. And this is a, a very, very simple main figure to make. Probably the most simple out of them. And she just has a prison door torso right there. Black legs, dark brown wand. And then I gave her a, a face from a Star Wars set. I but yeah, I don't know what face that is. It's, it's from a Star Wars set though, and then that hair piece you can find in a variety of different city sets. And uh, this is a minifigure that I was very surprised not to see in any of the sets. Uh, instead we got a different redhead, Susan Bones, which I originally thought in the Hogwarts Great Hall set was Ginny, but I was wrong. But yeah, this is a very simple minifigure, very nice looking though. I think it's pretty accurate, and I like how it turned out. But there we go guys, that is pretty much it for these custom LEGO Harry Potter minifigures. I had a pretty fun time making these, and hopefully I used enough uh, pretty common parts, and hopefully gave you guys an idea on how it, to make these yourself. When I make custom minifigures, I always like to use some more basic parts, and just figure stuff out, so then more people can actually make their own versions of them with their own parts. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you liked it, then leave a like. And thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for new LEGO videos. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.